Mm -hmm. Yeah. All along here. Like we're in 36 here. What's that say? 35. 36. 35. We're yeah. planning where we're going to move to if we go somewhere to fish next. Anyway. It's a beauty day. Okay. So, we're just uh, looking at different um, places on maps and stuff. I mean, basically, you know there's fish all over the lake, right? They're everywhere. They're like cows. They move around and they, you know, graze here and graze there. They're just opportunists, basically. So, anyway, <laughs> unless there's dogfish spawned involved this time of year. Sometimes that is a attractant for them. <laughs> try my luck to um, start this and see if I can drill a hole. So maybe you'll want to eventually walk over this way to watch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to hit anybody. Give her. I'll get you down somehow. Right on. That's wicked for a girl to do that, eh? <laughs> girl power. I'm proud of myself, man. <laughs> and he just said, Jiffy propane augers are so easy to run, but even a girl can do it. <laughs> There's Chuck doing Johnny's hole now. And Paul just finished his hole with a gas Jiffy, which is awesome. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go have to clean up my hole. So. First thing I like to do is clear the snow. I just use my foot, get it all out of the way, and then uh, I get out my slotted spoon, go down as far as I can, clean out the hole. Chuck's drilling his hole now. Lots of people out today. So anyway, I'm gonna get this hole cleaned out and uh, get fishing. Everybody's gonna do the same process. You have to do this every time you move, and uh, there's at least a couple of feet of ice here for sure. I think more ice since the last time we were out. Chuck's just putting the auger back, thank you. All right, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Somebody, Hopefully somebody's going to catch some fish. What happened, John? I just caught a white fish, and he followed it up to... Uh about six feet. There he is, eh? Yeah. Right on. I was. We were getting ready to move. It's awesome. We're getting ready to move, and so I'm hauling my line up, and it felt funny. I was caught on the ice, and then I have felt weight. It's a nice and color. There eh? he is. Look at the color of that, eh? Good for you. I'm gonna eat that one tonight. <laughs> right on.
Yeah. That's cool. We have no idea who these people are, but they're stopping here to ask how we're doing. Oh, that's interesting. I'm sorry it's not censored. Mm, it's real. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's just the way it is, eh? Catch up with you guys in a bit. We might move. Okay, bye. It's a busy spot by the looks of it, you know. They're looking for friends of theirs or something. Well, we got a few people out here fishing. Awesome. You lost them? Yeah, I lost them. That never happens. That never happens usually. Oh, Chuck oh, just missed one. Holy cow. Oh, he's got him, he's got him, he's got him. Oh, yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah. There he is. On the Williams. There we go. Funny thing, I was Today. using the uh, Williams Whitefish, but I just switched up. Like, that's a brand new Canadian Tire Wobbler. Yeah. Wow. Something you said about a nice, brand new, shiny lure. There is. Yeah. The other like day when we were fishing up the shallow there with Blake, he put the brand new bad boy on and caught those three fish. Yeah. Brand new one. Brand new bad boy. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes the bad boy used to be able to use one that had no paint left on it. Yeah. Well, I have a couple like that. I was going to scratch all the paint off them. <laughs> you want to hold them up for a picture? Yeah. You want me to? Yeah. I think so. Here we go. Yeah. Sideways. There we go. Nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Your very first one ever? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Many. First one in probably 15 years. Nice. Nice. I know.